Hello, YouTube. Uh, as always, good morning, good evening. Let's set up. Oh, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yesterday we had Blade Runner 2049's trailer drop. I haven't watched it yet. So, as always, thought I'd watch it with y'all so you can see my reaction and everything. Now, I have seen Blade Runner. I finally, you know, like within the last year, I watched it. Um, and I need to watch it again. Because I know, again, it's a decisive, divisive movie in the sense of, you know, a lot of people like sci-fi, staple, you know, people love it. And then there are other people who just don't get it. They don't hate it. They just don't really get it or whatever. When I, when I did watch it, I mean, it was interesting. I mean, found it a little boring. But again, that's a lot of films, you know, upon the first watching. So I need to try to watch it again. But the teaser saw for... 2049 look interesting. Of course, love Harrison Ford, Ryan Gosling. So let's see what we got. Every civilization was built off the back of a disposable oh, workforce. But I can only make so many. Happy birthday. There is an order to things. That's what we do here. We keep order. The world is built on a wall that separates kind. Tell either side there's no wall. You bought a war. You're a cop. I did your job once. I was good at it. I know. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. The key to the future. It's finally unearthed. Bring it to me. They know you're here. I always told you, you're special. Your story isn't over yet. There's still a page left. All right, so, um, hmm. Well, I mean, it definitely is the world of Blade Runner. Again, that post, not not post-apocalyptic, we'll say, but, um, you know, like, you know, very futuristic, um, you know, darker environment, kind of like the world of Ghost in the Shell, I mean, which are very two similar type things. Um, so let's hope that this, one, being a sequel, and two, in that same vein, uh, does is structured a little more well and does better than Ghost in the Shell did because um, again as one of the many people who you know I have the original Ghost in the Shell and I love it um, the movie was eh, I mean it, it it could have been worse but it could have been better a lot better um, and hence you know not many people saw it <laughs> you know marketing and whatnot um, but, you know, again, you have a, after many, many years, a sequel to Blade Runner, which, again, is, is much beloved by much of the geek or sci-fi community. Um, that doesn't guarantee ticket sales, of course. But, you know, you can hope that it, it, it um, does great. I'm not sure what the budget is on this thing. 
but hopefully, you know, they didn't, they haven't gotten to Hawk for it. But I mean, again, it's Rid Ridley Scott producing, you know, I mean, who's also coming back to Alien uh, this year, which Covenant looking forward to. Um, and, you know, uh, Denny Villeneuve, who did Arrival, which I liked Arrival. I liked Arrival a lot, um, which, again, was a slower, darker pace, uh, you know, darker pace, slightly darker. I mean, as far as the tone, the way it was filmed, but slower paced movie as well, but it was done very well. So I hope he brings that as well, the Blade Runner, but in an entertaining way. And again, it's just, it's awesome to see Harrison Ford, you know, um, back at it, if you will, um, not just for Blade Runner, but again, you know, from recently from Star Wars, Star of Force Awakens, uh, you know, for that Chris, King of the Crystal Skull was, you know, let down for a lot of people. But, you know, they they are planning an Indy 5, so let's hope that makes up for it. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, another trailer. You know, of course, not too much stuff. And seeing, seeing, seeing how this plays out. Anyways, that's my reaction, my thoughts. Um, feel free to share, subscribe like dislike comment below appreciate um any criticism and thanks peace